I am cocooned. It's not even that cold outside. I think it's because I have wet hair. I'm cold. So I'm wrapped in, I don't even know how long I've had this. I don't know where it's from, but it's basically a blanket that has sleeves. <laughs> So in case you're wondering where I've been this week, I actually, I was in New York. I was nominated for the CEW Influencer of the Year. I attended the awards, I won the award, and I was in New York for business, and I was there for a couple of days, but now I'm back and we're back to our normal schedule. Feels so good. What are we gonna do today? I'm looking around. Round. I got my fly hands. <laughs> I'm so excited. It feels so good to be home. It just feels so good. Um, you know, my what I do requires a lot of traveling, but there's really no place like home. I just love being in this room, and I love just playing in makeup, and I love being with y'all. I'm actually going to finish my brows, and I'm going to grab my biography pen. I'm going to get y'all a link for it. I have a little bit in there and then I put my gel on. I, just, I actually just use the gel from this and then I'll just go in and fill in any sparse areas. But I've used this for about a month. I No leaking, this is just perfect. Sometimes, especially even with the NYX ones, um, I know that we want affordable and those are great, but I do find that half of the product just leaks out anyways. Um, it's a really great one and I, and I understand that we're all at a different budget. D definitely worth it. It's very good, the NYX. The NYX is what I'm telling you about. But I do find that it leaks. But I love this one because we have the gel and we have the pin. I'm not getting any leaking. It wears amazing. And it's very fine. It's even finer than the NYX one. Um, I like it more than the Valentino one too. And I know this one's less than the Valentino. So if you've ever noticed, I try my best to not palette hop. And what is palette hopping? That's where I'll use two, three, sometimes four different palettes. As an artist, I definitely like different elements of each palette and I do like to kind of combine them all into one, but that gets expensive for you and it can even be confusing. But today I am going to use two palettes and I'm gonna use probably one of my favorite palettes of all time is this one from Isamaya. It is magnificent the diversity of all so they're all shimmers a lot of them are flips this is a very spicy price palette absolutely but i love how we're not getting colors in here that we normally already have another uh, matte neutral brown i love how this is just a very expressive palette so for me i would reach for this more than i would any of the other sparkly very spicy price brands you can think of a lot of them i'm sure um, i love these more than say a pat mcgrath in that price range i just love them i i just think that they are very well thought out um the formulas are probably some of the best formulas that i've ever seen but the price does reflect that but i'm saying all of that because i do want to use this but i'm also going to go grab a very affordable palette i think i might grab one from essence so let me go find that Okay, so I found these from Catrice. I love these, by the way. This is the one that I use the most. It's called um, the Pure Nude eyeshadow palette from Catrice. I just want to make sure it was nude. There's like mocha, rose, other ones. But love, love, love this one. But I want something warmer in my crease because I have an idea. But definitely grab this one. These are so affordable. And I know I'm chatting a lot, but I've missed y'all and I have a lot of information. By the way, Remember the Pillow Talk Dreams look I did, which I'll put that on YouTube. I did it the other day, but these very rose tones. If you want something similar to Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk eyeshadows, this is gonna be them. And this is the, the electric rose. This is gonna be so similar in tone to that palette. Sorry, I, I mentioned it wrong. I'm If I'm not mistaken, Essence and Catrice are um, sister brands, so I always get confused because they're very much in the same price range. But I'm about to grab the palette right now, so we'll just fix that. So I wanted to use the shade Mocha, and I promise it's typed out correctly here. I'm not zoning out. Um, and I wanted to use really, really warm tones. This color here is calling to me, and then this warm. So let's keep the crease really, really nice and warm. I'm gonna grab, I wanna grab, I wanna use my travel set today. So we'll just grab a little bit of this shade on the side of the brush. And most of the brushes I'm gonna use are the travel set, if not all. 
but let's go ahead and press that, warm up our socket. Look at the pigment on these, they're so good. They're so, so, so good and so affordable. And we'll just keep pressing that on. We're gonna grab some more, just grab more of that same shade, just keep building it up. And I cannot stress enough how we do not, I was saying we do not have to worry about the lid space. I feel that that is one of the things that just throws us all off. The moment we see that, we're like, whoa, this is horrible. I picked up more of that same shade. This is horrible. I need to wipe this off. I don't know where to go from here, but this is nothing. This is just the beginning of the art. I like that. We're just at the beginning of our art. That's what I'll start saying. Don't panic. You're at the beginning of your art. Terrifying, right? Mm -hmm. I know, I'm with y'all. It took me so long to get past this stage. I would have wiped this off and said, give me my Max Soft Brown eyeshadow and all that glitters because it was not as scary during the process. But you know what? We have learned here how to trust the process. Now let's take, notice I wiped my brush off on Sheila. Let's take a, the tiniest amount of this shade. Or was it that shade? Which one is it? No, 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 we're right. Okay, I get, get turned around. And I'm gonna take that and I'm just going to lightly transition this. I'm gonna do this in very small sections so we don't lose control. Uh, I'm gonna pick up the tiniest amount of eyeshadow. And you might think, wow, this is gonna take forever. Does it take longer than swiping? Yes. It does, but it doesn't take that much longer. And precision is just so important. But I think that we think precision means getting in here and just being so careful. It doesn't have to be that complicated, but it does mean picking up smaller amounts and working in smaller sections. Now, let's take that brush. Y'all, we've only used one brush, isn't that wild? Give it a nice wipe on Sheila. How dirty Sheila is getting. Sheila, Sheila's ready for a bath. And now let's grab this shade and small, small amount, start on the brow bone. And then what I do with these types of shades is I kind of just go over everything and it just blurs and melts everything together. But it's very important that we don't pick up a lot on the brush because then we can just kind of muddy the colors, turn it a little too cool, maybe even a little ashy. But in very small amounts, shades like this, just ever so lightly applied, they blur and they blend. So I wanna do a more rounded eye today and I have some micellar water here on our brush. This is also from the travel set and I'm just gonna clean up. But what I want you to notice, I'm gonna wipe on Sheila as I do this. What I want you to notice is I'm not gonna do a kind of cat eye shape. I wanna do a little bit more of a rounded shape, but I do wanna clean up our lid space for our next base. But don't worry about taking it over that way. Nice. So for the front of the eye, I wanna use a translucent see-through base. I'm gonna use this one that I use all the time from Milk. And this is, I'm gonna do this color towards the front. This is gonna be so much fun. Okay, doesn't have to be perfect, just needs to be even. Even, 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 even. Okay, I, I can just use my eyeshadow brush to even it out. Well, you know, I could if it hadn't ran away. Give it a nice wipe on Sheila. Just tap it to even it out. Perfect, perfect. This might be too much over here on this eye, by the way. In fact, let's, let's go ahead and give it just one little wipe on Sheila. And there you go. Too much and we're gonna have creasing. And then for where I'm gonna place the blue shadow, I wanna do black base. We're gonna use a tiny amount though. I think I can still use this brush. Yep, I absolutely can, okay. Oh my goodness. Party, time of my life, 10 out of 10 would recommend. By the way, this base is just so affordable and it could be scary, but it's not a huge investment and it's gonna change up the shadows that you already have and bring a different dimension to them. So if this was $40, I would say absolutely not, but I believe it's eight or $9, it may be even less. So it's a really fun way to switch things up and it's very affordable. Okay, this is important. I'm not gonna have y'all use black base, have it crease, cry, scream, and blame me. So I'm taking the smallest amount of black eyeshadow, any black eyeshadow, and I did wipe my brush off so there's no more tacky base on here. And I'm, all I'm doing is I'm setting where it's creeped into my crease. Just pressing on top of that. Because this is a tacky base, it's going to need to be set. I've already done it over here and you can see how nice and blurred that is. Just all we're doing is we're just setting where it might have creeped into the crease, just 
ever so lightly setting. So I am gonna switch over to a C30. The way that this picks up and places shimmers is just, it's like no other. It's your fingertip, but better, you get precision and it just, it just picks up that color. I'm definitely gonna load up one side of the brush and then I'm just gonna go in here and start to place it. Oh my gosh, these are so pretty. Let's whisper. But I think I wanna stop right there because I love the idea of that blue going from this depth to this, what I have going on on my cheek with no base, and I just think that's gonna be so cool. Okay, isn't this cool? Okay, let me show you. Makeup is so much fun. You just get to paint your face every day. All right, we're picking up quite a bit of this shade. We're gonna go ahead and place it in the center, and then we're gonna start to bring it into the black base. And then I do wanna melt it into the copper as well, but you can see that this is more transparent where we don't have that base, see that? Isn't that so cool? See the same, the same effect here, but where we have the black base, it's much more intense, and now it has depth behind it. Now I'm just gonna take our original eyeshadow brush and just kind of tap it and diffuse it a little bit. Isn't this so pretty? I'm telling y'all, there's pigments and then there's these pigments. Special. Look at how cool this is. You can see through it here, but then it's perfectly smoked and then you have the depth. Love it. Okay, let's, let's keep it trucking here. I'm trying to decide what color liner we wanna do. So let's grab this Stila liner. I swatched it right here. You're gonna see that it has just, it's very similar in tone. Um, it's a little bit more of a turquoise blue, but on the waterline, it's gonna tie in perfectly. Also wanna show you that it does have a little bit more black for base in it. But if you've never tried these Stila metal liners, you're missing out. They're spicy priced, I do know that. But the way that the formula lasts, how easily it glides on the pigment, it's a 10 out of a 10, and I do recommend. I'll use a Stila liner today. This is the duo liner. I'm using the tiny little side, and I'm using the shade black. I don't want to do just a full-on wing, because I do want to keep the eye very round, which, again, we're going to have to wait for a second, but I do want to really darken up the lash line. And I love how tiny this little, this little side is, so we can get really good in there and work it into the lash line. Minus the cat hair that's on here now. But yours won't come with cat hair. Now I'm just taking a little bit of black eyeshadow and the detail brush and I was just ever so lightly smudged. So I'm wiping off, of course I wipe that off. I'm making sure I don't have any fallout, which with this type of sparkle, it's bound to happen. But I do wait to do my eye cream till after I'm done. Also notice that I'm not going underneath here and cleaning that up. I still want it to be very rounded. We'll round it out some more in a second, but I'm just using my makeup eraser. And also I do not recommend the white makeup eraser because no matter what you do, it stays stained. I even tried bleaching it. I've done everything. It just stains. Um, it is clean, but it's gonna look dirty and then you're, you're gonna think it's dirty and that it's gross and it's not. Get the pink one. I like the pink one. All right, I'm gonna go grab a little bite to eat with Ben in the kitchen and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. So remember, we wiped off all of that fallout. My under eyes are a little dry now. I'm going to grab my Elemis eye cream. I got a new one. Finally. Oh, oh my gosh. Douglas is going through it down there. There we go. Did you figure it? Oh, nope, it's still not figured out. Then I'm going to use my Anissa Beauty spot treatment brush. I think this one's discontinued. But I don't think that the eye treatment one is, and I love that one just as much. It's just a little bit bigger than this one. So I love, 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 love my skincare brushes and have for years. And then I just did one pump of my Clarins Double Serum. And then I'm just working that in. Press that in. I love this stuff. But I'm not going to put it on my forehead. It's already on my forehead. It's just where I wiped away any of that um, fallout. So while that's sinking in... And really drying down on the skin. It's really important. Putting foundation on this right now would just be chaos. Um, I'm going to take my time and pick the glue off of these lashes and I just do this with my fingernails. I do have a video on how to actually deep clean them. That's on reels. Um, you would just soak them in alcohol, rubbing alcohol, but try go find the video. But I've only worn these two or three times so I can just pick that off really quickly. 
So makeup is just like cooking. It's really about timing. Um, so while that skincare is sinking in, the time that it takes me to get these lashes ready, well, pick off the glue, let the glue, the fresh glue I'm putting on dry down, apply, pinch back on, that's gonna be the perfect amount of time for this skincare to dry down so we can put foundation on top. So we're putting on our Libre lashes. Oh, I love these. I'm gonna order more of these. I ordered all of them. I love them so much. This is style number five. Let me double check that. Was it this one or this one? I can't be trusted. We already know that. Uh, yes, number five. Style number five. Ooh, I think I found us something fun and affordable. This is also from Catrice. Double checking. I always get the two confused. I'm so sorry, but y'all always help me. Um, let's watch this blend out. Also, I'm doing this. I lost the lid. I don't know where it went. We'll come back to that. We are going to parking a lot that. Um, I like to do a bronzer sometimes before. Now, you'll notice I switch it up quite a bit. But if you are just starting out doing your bronzer before, and this is a still a very warm shade, and this is considered a bronzer, doing it before concealer allows you to have more control over the shape later. Say it does gravitate way too high or way too far under the eye. Um, say this had been crazy wet or a very pigmented formula and it migrated a whole lot, doing this step before concealer allows us to be able to go overboard and kind of bring it back. This blended out beautifully. I love the color. Okay, let's get ready for our foundation. I'm actually going to post an ad for Cover FX tonight about the foundation. I already posted it on TikTok, but this is the foundation that I've been wearing, and this is the one that I wore to the award ceremony. Y'all, if you've been with me a while, you remember how much I loved it, and they're all, you want to know why I stopped talking about it? Because you couldn't find it, because I thought it was being discontinued. I'm, I'm just excited for y'all to try it. Once you try it, you'll be like, Oh. oh my goodness, it's so good. It's so, so, so good. Okay, so I'm using M3. And let's just go ahead and pop that on. The match, the coverage, the way it feels, obviously the way that it wears. I don't even know how long I had it on on Tuesday, the day of the awards. Um, it looked perfect all day long. And we'll apply this with our C42. Look at this match. Ah, it's so good. Okay, I blended out this side and I just feel it, it's just the perfect shade. There are much, much, much deeper shades for all skin tones. This one just feels like a natural peachy glow on my skin tone. And I, like I mentioned, I feel it just goes in there and it fills in gaps. Even if there's not a gap, it's somehow filling and blurring gaps. All right, love. Okay, listen. I was seeing this formula all over. I'm just gonna actually toss this. I'm not gonna use the sponge part. Um, anyways, I saw this all over TikTok. And you know, I, I was skeptical, okay? I was. But this formula is quite charming. The way that it melts into makeup and it has a lot of, it has a lot of pigment to it, okay? That doesn't mean that it's Rare Beauty Chaos. What that means is that it's not going to create gaps. It kind of fills in gaps. It's a wonderful formula. Wonderful, wonderful. I love it so much. And I've been using this one a whole lot. I do have all of them. P. Louise did send them all to me. Um, and I need to branch out from this shade. But I've really been enjoying this particular shade. I just feel like it adds a beautiful glow to my skin. And I love everything about it. It's a 10 out of a 10. Would recommend. And I do recommend. Okay. Now, we're going to use our House Labs. The shade I've been reaching for is 06 Fair Rosy. My summer tan has eluded me. It is gone now. And this shade has been perfect underneath my eye. This would have been much too light before, but I'm definitely almost at my lightest, my seasonal lightest. So we're good. Now, again, with the rounded shape. And then we'll complete it once I get everything blended out here. So we're taking advantage of that wet concealer and I just grabbed this shade and we're just pressing that into the lash line. And then I'm gonna connect it over here. I'm gonna grab some more of it. Sorry, I have to look at you all surprised. 
And then once we get it set, I'll kind of melt everything over here a little bit more. I thought this was so helpful. I'm gonna make myself small. Uh, one of my friends here, they just DM me and said that they understand exactly. I want you to read this. Again, it's not a bad product. I'm never like, oh, it's so bad. It's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying sometimes things are easier for people to start in different parts of their makeup journey. And this P. Louise one, this is such a great example of how it just fills in gaps. Because sometimes even pigments and foundations, even the best foundation, um, if we're not understanding the exact perfect technique, sometimes we can have gaps. But this is just such a great example. Okay, read that. Let's grab that shade that we started with here. Grabbing that on our fluffiest brush, this is the E29. I'm gonna start kind of in the center, more the edge of the eye, and I'm just gonna take this in a C-shaped motion and just connect and really round out this eye. So we're gonna go on a lip journey. I'm gonna do this Milani lipstick here. Just a little bit of that. That's perfect, it's so soft, I love these. That shade is called Secret. Now I'm going to line my lips. This is Makeup by Mario's Lip Liner in Smoky Pink. I love this formula and this shade's my favorite from Mario. Let's do our one size powder today. Make sure that's nice and even. And also I feel that we might not need as much on the puff as we think because going back and forth like this is what's really working it in and setting it. It's not about just getting in there with a ton of powder. It's really about just going in, kind of even lightly moving the eye around so lightly. Please don't tug on your eye, but don't be afraid to just barely kind of lift and press. I'm, it's so gentle. That's what I need y'all to remember. And look at that blend. Woo! By the way, the blue eyeshadow has a purple flip. Isn't that cool? So cool. Now, I do not know why I don't see more people talking about these from NYX. I did a post about them a while ago, and I duped them for the Dior Lip Maximizer. I prefer these over the Dior Lip Maximizer 10 times. Um, I feel like they're more comfortable. They're more sparkly. They're just better to me. And I, I really think, I mean, look at this. And they do have a little bit of a plumping sensation to them, but it's not a burn. It's not chaos. I don't like chaos, by the way. You'll never catch me using the Too Faced ones. But if y'all haven't tried these, and I just picked this up at Walgreens one day randomly. <laughs> Wait till you see it with back camera. It's so pretty. But yeah, if you've been thinking about the Dior one, just get this one. It's way cheaper. I feel like my foundation lately has just been unreal. It just looks so good it looks like skin but it looks like a blurred filter version of skin and i love it so much i'm so glad that foundation is back i love you all so much if you're new here i i normally do a tutorial monday through friday but again i was traveling um on saturday and sunday i film other content i don't technically take the day off because i'm still filming but i take the day off from stories um but monday through friday next week i'm gonna be here we're gonna be tutorial to tutorial in <laughs> we're gonna try a bunch of new stuff we're gonna have so much fun but i love you all so much i love you with all of my heart it feels so good to be home and just to be back to my tutorials in my room with all of you um again i'm gonna post an ad tonight for cover fx uh but it's it's my favorite it's it's just so good i'm just so excited for y'all to experience it so i love you and i will see you in the comments tonight